President Obama may have had Justice Scalia assassinated, murdered, in order to open up a slot on the Supreme Court for another liberal. Get that guy out of here. He didn't kill bin Laden. You know, he gets so much credit for that. Okay, excuse me. He authorized Excuse me. He had the, the, military, guts, he had the guts to the make that decision. The Get him out. Are these rallies the most fun of everybody, right? We have the most fun. This is a special report to look into the supposed death of Osama bin Laden. We published the fake Situation Room photos. He said they were fake. They admitted a week later they were fake. Exactly. Get that guy out of here. Like with the gun bill. After people are slaughtered in Newton, Connecticut, and, the, and, and my colleagues didn't even want to debate the issue of gun control? Arrest him. That this appointment should be made by the next president. So this uh, vacancy will not be filled this year. Here they are. Businessman Donald Trump. Our country is going to hell. Yeah, one sure sign it's going to hell is that you're the front runner. Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Cruz, the reason we're going to vote for you all of us is because you're one of us, my man. Florida Senator Marco Rubio. Hey, what's the one politician, you know, that you want to sit down and, and have a beer with? I always, can't always mess up her last name, but this young lady, Malala. Yes. Marco Rubio wants to have a beer with Malala. <laughs> who is both a practicing Muslim and 18 years old. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. <laughs> Sit down and shut up. Jeb Bush. The last thing this country needs is another Bush. Governor Kasich, please weigh in. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this is just crazy, huh? We've had it with the Bushes. The last four questions have been, Rand, please attack Ted. Marco, please attack Ted. Chris, please attack Ted. Jeb, please attack Ted. The questions that have been asked so far in this debate illustrate why the American people don't trust the media. Media censorship. I'm going to open up our libel laws so when they write purposely negative and horrible and false articles, we can sue them and win lots of money. Where do these candidates get off actually insisting that they get to pick who asks the questions of them? You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only is Rosie several... O'Donnell. I am an evangelical. I'm a Christian. I'm a Presbyterian. Well, Donald Trump must admit that of all his reversals, hypocrisies, and 180s, his condemnation this week of Vicente Fox for using foul language... I'm not going to pay for that fucking wall. Yeah. ...is the most ridiculous of all. I think it's a disgusting thing that he said. And I could tell you, I would not use that word. Talk about the pot calling the kettle orange. But it's political bullshit. She said he's a pussy. They're ripping the shit out of the sea. We can't get a fucking school built in Brooklyn. You're not going to raise that fucking price, you understand? I'm going to bomb the shit out of them. Listen, you motherfuckers, we're going to tax you 25%. This is an individual who mocked a disabled reporter. Okay, you got to see this guy. Oh, uh, I don't know what I said. Ah. Uh. Who attributed a reporter's questions to her menstrual cycle who mocked a brilliant rival who happened to be a woman due to her appearance. If Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. <laughs> Donald Trump wants to bang his daughter. Voters do like a family man. <laughs> I want to tell you a story about someone that didn't speak English that well. It was my grandfather. He came to this country in the 1960s as a escaping Cuba. Well, Florida Senator Marco Rubio is scrambling right now to undo the damage of a Washington Post report that he embellished his family history to benefit politically. Carly Fiorina is one of a new breed of politicians who claim to see things that aren't there. She said she watched a Planned Parenthood video of, quote, a fully formed fetus on the table. Its heart beating, its legs kicking while someone says we have to keep it alive to harvest its brain. But that video doesn't exist unless you subscribe to Netflix. Since the retired neurosurgeon started rising in the polls, the media have been dredging up all kinds of ancient history, like this speech in 1998. My own personal theory is that Joseph built the pyramids in order to store grain. 
Now, all the archaeologists think that they were made for the pharaoh's graves. We really have gone <laughs> into a realm where we haven't been before. <laughs> My party is going bad crazy. <laughs> I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters. My relationship with Donald Trump would be as almost a relationship with Jesus Christ. This is not a cage match. Send me Donald, book Donald, with his autograph. Donald, I understand rules Mr. are very Trump, hard for you. They're very job. confusing. I one, you don't have the endorsement of one Republican senator and you work with these people. Senator Trump. If he builds the wall the way he built Trump Towers, he'll be using illegal immigrant labor to do it. Here's a guy that buys a house for 179000 He sells it to a lobbyist who's probably here for 380000 and then legislation is passed. Well, you tell me about this guy. You ran up mountains of debt as well as losses using other people's money, and you were forced to file for bankruptcy not once, I never not for twice, bankruptcy. four times. I think his response, his, his visceral response to attack people on their appearance, short, tall, fat, ugly, my goodness, that happened in junior high. Are we not way above that? Would we not all be worried to have someone like that in charge of the nuclear Jake, arsenal? Jake, the, Mr. Trump. I never attacked him on his look, and believe me, there's plenty of subject matter right there. This is what we're gonna Here's have the guy president. that inherited $200 million. If he hadn't inherited $200 million, you know where Donald no, no, Trump no, would no, be no. right now? No, no, Selling no. watches in I Manhattan. Thought, like, I mean, first of all, this guy's a choke artist, and this guy's a liar. You have a combination. This guy always goes you have, a, you have a combination of factors. He this can't so do it typical. for the obvious reason, and he can't do it because he doesn't he does. know how to tell the truth. You're never going to be president of the United States tough, by insulting yeah. your way to well, the presidency. Well, let's see. I'm at 42, and you're at three. So, Doesn't so matter. far, I'm doing better. Doesn't matter. When you led the drive to shut down the government over Obamacare, but afterward, your fellow Republicans said you'd led them over a cliff. Ted Cruz led us down this path. This was a disaster from the start. You don't get to shut down the government. Uh-uh. We don't have time. I don't have energy. Right. What, what are you going to do? You're going to shut it down because you're upset about something? If you kill Ted Cruz on the floor of the Senate <laughs> and the trial was in the Senate, nobody could convict you. <laughs> we will carpet bomb them into oblivion. Testing whether, quote, sand can glow in the dark. Does that mean leveling the ISIS capital of Raqqa in Syria, where there are hundreds of thousands of civilians? Wow! Powerful, horrible, today! Obamacare hates law, strangles, unleashed, boom! Well, my aspiration is to, uh... Oh, I don't know, being a teen tit film like that guy who played Horatio. Well, other than that, uh, take over the world, world domination, you know, rule everything. He talks about corruption on his financial disclosure form. He didn't even put that he's borrowed money from Citibank and from Goldman Sachs, which is a total violation. He didn't talk about the fact that he pays almost no interest. He just left it off, and now he's going right. to protect the people from the big bad banks. Look, look at this, it's my Trump stamp. Trump He's stamp. Got a Trump stamp. Trump stamp. You want one? That's awesome. Sure, I do. Look at this. Donald Trump locked in an explosive feud with Fox News, still says he's boycotting the debate. Trump digging in his heels, boycotting tonight's Fox News debate. He claims debate moderator Megyn Kelly is biased against him. That's right. Trump is skipping the debate because Megyn Kelly will be a moderator. After all, why would he want to practice going head to head against a strong blonde woman? USA, USA. Donald Trump is doubling down on claims he made over the weekend that he saw thousands of Muslim Americans in New Jersey celebrating after the September 11th terror attacks. That did not happen in New Jersey that day and it hasn't happened since. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. The other thing mind. is with the terrorists, you have to take out their families. When you get these terrorists, you have to take out their families. They, they care about their lives, don't kid yourself. Mr. But they Trump. say they don't care about their lives. You have to take out their families. That is the front runner for the Republican nomination advocating a war crime. Now, if you like the media, give them a big hand. And if you don't, give them a big boo. <laughs> Well, what is it that he's hiding in his taxes? Maybe it's that Donald Trump doesn't earn nearly as much as he has so loudly told everyone. Maybe he, he's not as rich as he says he is. Now, his campaign claims his current worth is in excess of $10 billion, and they've written it in all caps, so it must be true. 
Isn't he a huge business success? Doesn't he know what he's talking about? No, he isn't. And no, he doesn't. He claimed that his net worth changes depending on his mood, which makes absolutely no sense. Whatever happened to Trump Airlines? Trump Vodka, which was discontinued. And then there's Trump Magazine. Trump World Magazine, which also folded. And Trump Stakes. Trump University, over which he's being sued. And Trump Mortgage. It's Trump Mortgage and TrumpMortgage.com, and it's going to be a terrific company. Yeah, it wasn't. A business genius he is not. True. Trump has put his name on some terrible investments. For example, four years ago, he endorsed Mitt Romney for president. <laughs> so I will just let his own daughter describe the state of his finances at one point in his life. I remember once my father and I were walking down Fifth Avenue and there was a homeless person sitting, um, sitting right outside of Trump Tower. And I remember my father pointing to him and saying, you know, that guy has $8 billion more than me because he was in such extreme debt at that point, you know? And that really shows you the indomitable spirit of Donald Trump. To fall to his lowest point, and in that very moment, still find a way to be kind of a dick to a homeless guy. By the way, can you see in the back, they have the best view. Can you see it's really my hair? Yeah! Real hair! Real hair! Uh, Donald Trump plunged back into controversy yesterday for his refusal to disavow former Ku Klux Klan Grand Wizard David Duke. Honestly, I don't know David Duke. I don't believe I've ever met him. I'm pretty sure I didn't meet him, and I just don't know anything about him. That's disqualifying right there. If you nominate Trump and Cruz, I think you get the same outcome. You know, whether it's death by being shot or poisoning, does it really matter? I love these people back there. Yeah, we love you! We love you, guys. But it's time to end the denial. But when he's sworn in as president on January 20th, 2017, we as a nation must prepare for the very real possibility of President Donald J. <laughs> <laughs> and you will remember that date, because it's the one that time travelers from the future will come back to to try and stop the whole thing <laughs> from happening. <laughs> I think I think it just trumped in my mouth a little. <laughs> <laughs>